Hey guys, welcome back to Velaxi Technologies. In this new series, we are going to see how we can use Terraform to provision our infrastructure in AWS Cloud. In this, I am going to come up with a different kind of examples provisioning infra on AWS. So stay tuned. As part of this one, I need to set up Terraform on my Windows system so that I can write Terraform scripts or I can execute commands to manage our infrastructure on AWS. For this, I have prepared some documentation how you can set it up. Let's go and see that. To use Terraform, I have created a repository called DevOps Project Workshop. In this, you have a lab docs. I have committed a couple of documents and I am going to commit more documents over here what we are going to use in this series. And the required documents I am giving in the description of this video. As part of this one, if you see Terraform install, here to prepare our Terraform environment on Windows, we need to install Terraform VS Code. This will be helpful to write a Terraform scripts. Then AWS CLI. This is what it is going to authenticate with our AWS console. To install Terraform, first we need to download the Terraform latest version from here. And you can click here. And here we have option to download Terraform for different OS distributions. We will come back over here. Once this is done, we need to set up the environment variable. I have given you a path that how you can set up the environment variable. Just go to start and search for edit the environment variables. Then go to the environment variables on new tab. Under system variables, we need to select the path variable and add the path. And based on the location where you kept your Terraform file, that path you should specify. In our case, we might be specifying it under C program files. Once that is done, if we run the Terraform version, we could able to see the Terraform. After this, we need to install Visual Studio Code to write the code and AWS CLI to connect with our AWS console. But to connect with our AWS console, we need AWS credentials. That is what I have specified in the connect to AWS documentation. So first you need to log into your AWS console and create an IAM user with programmatic access. Once that is done, we need to run the AWS configure command. And if you have multiple profiles, you need to specify the profile. If you don't know, for time being, you can ignore it. But going forward lectures, you can able to see that one. After that, you can just test the connection by using AWS S3 LS. In case if there are any S3 buckets, you can able to see that, which means that your connectivity between your laptop to AWS console, it is fine. Okay, with that context, let's go and download our Terraform. So if it is Mac, these are the commands, then Windows, Linux, like this, various operating systems are there. In our case, it is Windows. So I'm downloading the Terraform version 1.3.9. Let's download it. It takes a while. Once it is downloaded, you just open this file and you can see it has been downloaded successfully and uh, extract the files. Okay, it is quite simple to set up the Terraform just to download it and extract it and I will just name it as a Terraform 1.3.9. Okay, next thing you just go inside you can see there is a Terraform.exe application is there. This you can keep it in some secure location. So I will go in my system this PC and go to program files. I will copy it over here because we don't frequently come over here. Once this is done, just go inside and take this path. This path you need to specify in the environment variables. So go to start button, search for edit, edit the system environment variables. Yes, this is the one in the control panel and under advanced settings, go to environment variable. Uh, over here, you can see user variables for Velaxi and system variables. If you keep something over here, it will be only works with the Velaxi user. If you keep it here, it will be across the system. So in the system variable, you just go to path, edit. Now you can add the new path, just click over here and whatever path you have copied and just OK and OK to save and OK. That's it. Now we have set up the Terraform path. And if it is fine, if you open the command prompt and if you execute Terraform minus version, you could able to see the 1.3.9. Okay, which means that our Terraform has been set up successfully. Next thing, we should go back over here and we need to go with this and we should download Visual Studio Code. 
We are going to use Visual Studio Code to write a Terraform scripts and it is more user friendly if you are writing and executing Terraform scripts. So that's the reason we are going to use the Visual Studio. Apart from this, you can choose any other uh, IDE which is you are convenient. So I'm just downloading Visual Studio for Windows. Once you have downloaded, you need to install it. But Visual Studio Code and uh, AWS CLI can take some time because these are the exe files you just need to install at the operating system level. Okay. So I'm just accepting the agreements. Next, next, next. All are default settings. Nothing to change. Alright. Installation completed. Let's finish it. And you can see a pop-up. Okay. This is the Visual Studio and this is how it looks like. And in my case, I have already installed the Visual Studio code earlier. So you can see some preloaded files over here. And uh, you just need to explore a little bit about this one. And you can see here file if you want to create a new file or new window or open a folder, specific folder. If you open, all files will be opened like this. Okay. Even over here, it will be appearing. But anyway, you will be see this going forward in our lectures. So once this is done, next thing we should install AWS CLI. For that, you can download AWS CLI from here. And even AWS CLI will be available for different operating systems. In our case, we are going with Windows. In Windows, you can directly download it and install it. Or you can execute this command in your uh, C prompt so that uh, it can download and install. Either way will work. I am going to execute the command so that it will be easy. You can see here it is preparing for the installation. And next, I accept terms and conditions. Next, install. It will take a while to install the AWS CLI. Alright, installation has been completed. Let's finish it. And if I run AWS command over here, something you get like this, which means that it can able to work fine. Now we need to create IAM user. So go to your AWS console and check for IAM. This is my IAM console. Next go to users. Here you should create an user. I am going to create a user called Terraform minus user. And if you need AWS management console access, you can choose this option. But I don't need AWS console access. We need programmatic access because we want to access AWS management console from outside of AWS. For this, we need to create user first, then we can create the tokens, programmatic access. So first, let's create an user. Then we need to attach the policies from the group or you can copy privileges or you can attach directly. I am going to attach it directly and I am going to choose administrative access because Terraform might be doing uh, different activities on the AWS cloud. So it should require administrative access. If you know what kind of activities you are doing and uh, very restricted access, if you wish to give that also can be done. Next and uh, at last create an user. Now we have created an IAM user. Once it is created, open this uh, Terraform user and go to security credentials. This is where you need to create your credentials. So to create your credentials, create an access key if you specify. And this access key we need for the command line interface. You are planned to use the access key to enable the AWS CLI. Yes, this is the purpose. And uh, check this and uh, next and create it. That's it. We got access key ID and secret access key. Let me download it. And you need to make sure that you kept this in the secure way. If somebody knows about your access key ID and secret access key, they can access your account. Anyway, once I have configured this one, I will delete it and I create new one and I'm going to use it. But I just want to show how does it work. So just copy this one and go here and run AWS configure. So it is asking for access key ID. We just copied access key ID and the next secret access key. So secret access key. And I'm going to work on US East one region. So I'm not changing this one. In, in case if you are using another region, then you can go with that one. AP South one, that is Mumbai region. Okay. So this is anyway uh, optional. If you want, you can keep it. Otherwise, while running your commands, you can specify it. This is kind of a default location. 
that's it now i have set up uh, all the credentials now if i run aws s3 ls just to, to test it out and there is one bucket if it is retrieving that bucket which means that it has access you can see here it is retrieving a bucket called Velaxi demo bucket and if i go and check aws s3 yes there is a bucket called Velaxi demo bucket which represents that our setup is completed that's all for this video and in next video we are going to see how to write our first terraform file to provision an ec2 instance if you are excited to set up an ec2 instance follow along with me thank you and see you in the another video